now that the show has been picked up by Netflix um, and they're filming now, look at um, it'll be out, you know, probably in the early fall. Um, one of the things that, you know, they, they asked Netflix right off the bat, they said, you know, well, what kind of time limitations are we looking for as far as the episodes are concerned? And Netflix's response was, we don't care. Um, the show can be, you know, an hour long. It can be an hour and 20 minutes long. It can be an hour and a half long. We care. You know, do you need to do to make a good show? And that's kind of outrageous in Hollywood to have that kind of freedom to be able to do that type of, uh, of filming like that. And uh, so, I mean, each each episode is going to have a good 20 more minutes of material. And, uh, you know, when you're talking 10 episodes, that's a lot of material. It's kind of wonderful to have that freedom. You know, one of the dirty little tricks about my books is that the majority of the plots tend to come from newspaper articles, you know, from up here in Wyoming and Montana, Colorado, South Dakota, like that. And, uh, you know, truth is stranger than fiction, you know, and, and it's, you know, the, some of the most wonderful ideas I get from, you know, clipping out of these tiny little, you know, newspapers in some of these tiny little towns. And I think what that also does is it kind of keeps the book grounded in a reality um, that, you know, Western sheriffs kind of deal with. I mean, I don't ever want to write a book where Walt is on a cruise ship, or I don't want to ever write a book where Walt, you know, is on a skateboard or something like that. I mean, I really want Walt dealing with the things that, you know, Western sheriffs deal with. You know, in the final analysis, you know, my life is that, you know, I'm a, I'm a rancher, you know, in a small ranch, you know, in Northern Wyoming, um, where the nearest town has a population of 25. And so, you know, that's my life. That's what I do. And, and uh, being a rancher, you know, obviously, you know, my life um, revolves around that. You know, the old statement about ranching and farming is the animals won't wait. Like, and so the first thing I do in the mornings is get up, get everything squared away at the ranch, you know, and then uh, make a big pot of coffee and sit down and start writing. And uh, I'm not a big one for looking out the windows, you know, and, uh, you know, waiting for the muse to strike. You know, I'm, I'm a big one for that, uh, uh, that, 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 that famous uh, where he says, you know, you don't uh, wait around for inspiration. You go after it with a club. I mean, I'm always thinking about all the authors that never got the opportunity um, to go out and you know meet the people who were you know reading their books. Like okay? I mean, it's a it's a it's a wonderful thing like that because they can tell you you know the things they like, the things they don't like. Um, but that kind of interaction is kind of priceless to me.